And good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome. Uh, today we have another Gempi C Top 8 match. As always, I am Dan Tartaglione, also known as D Tartag1. Uh, today in the Gempi C, we have Matt, our number two seed, Matt Harrison Trainer. He'll be facing off against, I would say, probably one of the hottest players, or uh, I wouldn't say like hottest, but I'm saying like most. Uh, the guy who's having the most success right now in the game, uh, Bill Kafer. Uh, this is the top eight match. Uh, again, Matt Harrison Trainer is the number two overall seed. Bill is the uh, 39th overall seed. Uh, he comes in at a uh, pretty low-ish seed on this. Uh, uh, really quick, let's go over the top eight. Uh, we're going to have a lot of games today. This is game one. We're actually going to have three matches today in the top eight. So it, it is going to be a pretty busy day, to, uh, surprisingly. Uh, but again, like I said, let's go over and uh, look at the top eight really quick. So really quick, if you are looking at our top eight, uh, Sorry about that. Uh, we have Joe Olson, who is facing off against... He, Joe, again, is our number one overall seed. He's going to be facing off against Mike Kessling. Mike came off of a uh, top eight at the MPC this year. Uh, Mike is, again, one of the uh, members of Team 9 Million, <laughs> or the uh, New Allies, as they're also known as. Uh, Joe, uh, he, he's... Uh, quite a l established player uh he won the last two worlds championships he won the last mpc or he won the uh 2020 mpc he won the 2020 nationals uh, i i think there's if there's a tournament that uh i don't think there's a tournament at this point that joe hasn't won maybe oh wait the endor grand prix uh which is kind of funny because again he uh is from endor uh, again, then later today, we're going to have Timo Dussel facing off against Jeff Levine. Uh, again, right now, we're going to have M uh, Matt Harrison Trainer versus Taco Bill. And then uh, Wednesday, we saw Miguel take down Justin Branch in game one of their match. So, uh, yeah, a lot going on in the game PC. Uh, looks like the table is ready. So... Matt, uh, Matt has decided he is going to play light side first. And uh, that's going to put Bill on dark side. Uh, Bill's been playing a lot of Shadow Collective. I know his team likes it a lot. Uh, Matt is the type of player, he can play almost anything. So I'm not really sure what we're going to be expecting here. But I, I definitely am uh, figuring that we're going to have a nice little match going on. So the table is ready. Let's go ahead and get into the game. Game one of Matt Harrison Trainer versus Taco Bill. Uh, Bill is playing Shadow Collective. Matt is playing Old Allies. So, right, okay, this is going to be a nice little match. Uh, there's the starting interrupts. Uh, the Falcon is at the NEMA outpost. I don't know why it's not showing up. Let's see if I can refresh this. Uh, I'm going to wait until the starting effects are out. Uh, there's the mind which you have learned. Or no, my tricks don't work on me. Inconsequential losses and you'll be dead for Bill. Matt starting with Walkling. A Brave Resistance and Strike Plan. So your standard, pretty much your standard... Old allies, uh, actually both players are going with the standard for what we've seen recently with the uh, the objectives. Okay, uh, it isn't showing, so you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and log on to GIMP on the old-fashioned way. So that way everything looks like it's going to be set. Let me bring this over really quick. But here we go, game one, Matt versus Bill. Matt plays Rebel Leadership. Okay, there we go, everybody. Now it should be fine. Okay, the Rebel Shield Leadership has been played. He grabbed himself Admiral Raddus. No real surprises there. Both players pulled the grabbers. Bill activates. And here we go. There's the first light bar from Bill. So he doesn't grab the 2-0 sight just yet. 
we must accelerate our planes into a blockade flagship. Uh, maybe we'll see a little bit less of the uh, the We Must Accelerate Our Plans. If those who uh, watched uh, Holo Theater from this past Wednesday, uh, we're getting some new cards. And what's interesting is we're getting a lot of cards to help uh, mitigate a lot of the expensiveness of the game design. And uh, the design team has decided to create some cards to help uh, less than the cost, so we're going to get a new uh, a Nemoidian advisor that's going to allow the players to deploy the blockade flagship. Uh, it's also going to allow players to pay three to pull a Nemoidian or any effects. So maybe we'll see some of those cards being played here soon. Okay, there's Maul coming down uh, to his hut. Bill going, uh, he also had the other uh, first light site. He deployed the uh, the reception area. Matt's going to use strike planning. He goes and grabs General Calrissian and General Leia. And Bill will draw a couple cards and pass turn over to Matt. So Bill already got his three sites on the table. So it's not a bad uh, sequence of events for Bill right there. Let's see what Matt is going to do this turn. I'm expecting him to get out uh Radis and Calrissian onto the Falcon, probably take off and go to Jakku. That's usually the standard. Uh, a lot of these Shadow Collectives don't have a, a very big space force. Typo. Uh, so, I mean, we, they might have like uh, a, a Zuckus and Miss Hunter, but that's pretty much it. Echo, stop. Sorry, my Amazon uh, Alexa likes to talk. <laughs> okay, Matt's taking his time to say what he wants to do here. He's looking for a Jaco's site at this point. Hey, there is Ray's encampment coming down for Matt. So, I mean, he could go out and get Ray this turn, but I think it's, again, more likely that he plays Calrissian and Radis. That would also allow him to pull a Carillion Corvette out of his deck. Uh, Carillion Corvette, pretty solid ship. Uh, the only problem with it is it only has ability of one. I believe it's also a destiny of one. So, while it's a solid ship, it's not really good in the deck. But let's see what Matt wants to do here. He's got options. He is taking his time, though. So, okay. He's going to... He puts back Rose Tico. Uh, that's going to allow him to get any character. You know, he's using the Brave Resistance to put back Rose Tico. He's going to then get a resistance character of uh, equal or lesser ability. He decides on Admiral UO Satora. Uh, during the stream today, we're going to have a few giveaways. So make sure you uh, stay out for those. Jared has allowed us, uh, graciously allowed us to give away some foils today. So after deciding on Satora, Matt is happy with that. So he is going to, he shuffles up his deck. Uh, let's see what he wants to do. Let's uh, let's see what he wants to do this turn. He can't flip just yet. Okay, Calrissian comes down onto the Falcon for two force. And he is going to pull Ray, so he is going to get a use pile pull with her. Uh, she comes down for two force. Okay. 
he does decide on his use pile card. Uh, he's got he had six cards in his use pile. Uh, one of them was Rose, or no, he had five cards in his use pile, uh, and one of them was Rose. So I doubt he takes the Rose here. Matt thinking about what he wants to take. He's got five cards to choose from. Okay, he decided on his card. He still has five force left. I'm assuming one of it is going to be used to move Ray over. Still no Radis on the Falcon just yet. Matt decides to take the top of the bottom card of his force pile into hand with Ro with Ray. Okay, no Radis coming down. Ray moves over, hops onto the Falcon. And he does take off. So now he's going to be threatening a drain of three or two next turn. Now, Matt doesn't draw up there. He saves three-fourths, and he passes his turn over to Bill. Okay, Bill activates. He's got 13 cards in his force pile. There is the first light Dryden study, so now Maul can move over to the first light. Proxima comes down as well. That's going to allow Bill now to take the uh, look at the top three cards during his control phase. Take any alien he wants in the hand. Proxima staying inside as she uh, is afraid of the light. And there goes Maul. He moves over to the first light. And Bill will just end his turn, go into his draw phase, and draw some cards. Matt Tate uses Ray and gets another card into his hand. Ray, a really solid card, you know, uh, really good for card advantage, drawing cards. Okay, Bill's going to use Point Man. That's going to allow him to put a card back into his use pile and take any card he wants out of his force pile. Bill has 13 cards in hand. Matt has 12. Not sure if Matt is playing Grimtosh, but if he is, that would be bad for Bill Kafer. Okay, there's the drain of two at Jakku. Uh, there's no battle plan or battle order shield on the table, so Matt is going to be able to drain for free. Bill loses two cards. He loses Masterful Move and Endor Occupation from hand. He also loses the Phantom Menace from his, the top of his deck. Matt goes out and get a, uh, gets himself a sight with the objective. Uh, that's a good point there, uh, Chris. Yeah, uh, the slave, uh, the slave one, the Phantom Menace really isn't going to come into play this game because there's no Jedi in uh, Matt's deck. But yeah, losing a seven off the top is no fun.
Okay, still in Matt's turn. Matt is down by six minutes on Bill, but that shouldn't really uh, come into play this game. While we're waiting for Matt to decide on the location, we're going to give uh, one of those foil giveaways that uh, I mentioned a little bit ago. Uh, this one is going to be... We're going to do a lore challenge, and this one's going to be quite a... Uh, it's going to be kind of fun. Uh, first person in the chat who can ever... Who can tell me, I'm going to give you the lore, and then I just need you to tell me the card. Okay, Matt gets out the uh, the village. Uh, he's going to put a ray back as well. Let's see who he grabs. So, but really quick, the lore challenge. Uh, he's going to get Finn out of his reserve deck. That's uh, always a good card to get. Still got 14 cards in his force pile, though, this turn. Uh, the lore challenges, I'm actually, I'll put it in the chat as well, so whoever can get it first. Okay, the lore challenge for the first foil is Clone Trooper and Spy. First person in the chat to get it uh, will win the prize. Okay, so again, Matt has chosen uh, Finn out of his deck with the Brave Resistance Pool. And there's a gold leader in gold one. Uh, first person to get it was Chris Kelly. Yeah, Tup is just a clone trooper. Uh, there's Radis going on to the gold leader in gold one. Okay, Chris Kelly, I need you. Uh, Chris, in the chat, I need you to tell me, would you like odd or even? I thought I had a dice here. There's the Corellian Corvette from the Radis. Instead of the dice, what we're going to do is we're going to do heads or tails. Because I cannot find uh, my dice. So. Heads or tails, Chris. Okay, so that's all that Matt does this turn. He does not flip or anything. But we go into Bill's turn. He uses force push. To pull any card he wants out of his force pile. Yeah, I'm not doing it like that, Justin. That's boring. Uh, I'm going to pull out a chip. It's going to be... I actually have my chips on me. Uh, one of our little poker chips. So, heads is always going to be the uh, PC logo. So... Chris, heads or tails? That's, wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, heads. Heads it is. You get... Rise of the Sith. Starting interrupt. Uh, foil. Okay, Bill uses Proxima. He's going to pull 
uh, Balatik from his hand, uh, from his reserve deck. And then he goes into this ploy phase, and Bill is doing a lot. Django Fett with Blaster Pistol come down. Balatik comes down. Prince Shizor and two guns come down. Three guns come down. And Bill flips his objective. He's only got five cards in his hand, but he did a lot that turn. He does flip, and because he occupies three battlegrounds, that's going to pose a point of damage to Matt. Maul moves over, and Bill goes into his draw phase. Now, again, Matt can flip this turn. He doesn't have to control the sites. He just has to occupy them. But I believe that Matt is going to want to get down to have some sort of presence on Jakku. There's the uh, ping damage for the flip of the objective from Bill. Again, Matt has to lose a card here. Let's see what he loses. He's going to lose Elorus Madak from his hand. <laughs> yeah i'm not sure if bill is going to be uh if jared's going to be able to knock bill out of a site at this point uh, right now the weaker of the two sites is obviously uh the uh the village as there's only one gun there but at the same time you got to expect the 2-2 the two, two site to come down, and then he just consenses at the 2-2 two, two and threatens drains of 2-2. Two and two. Because right now, Bill has to pay for his drains. Well, Matt, does, uh, if he gets anything down to the ground, he won't have to pay. Okay, Matt activates. He's got 24 force to work with. That's quite a lot. Battle plan is on the table. Okay, he does pay the dra uh, two drain. There's a drain of three. He does drain for three. Uh, he adds one with, I think I can handle myself. That goes used, and Bill will have to lose three cards. Bill loses We Must Accelerate Our Plans from hand. He loses Dengar with Blaster Carbine and Boba Fett and Slave One. Uh, losing, ooh, that's interesting to see so boba fett and slave one being played matt uses his objective in his deploy phase to pull out a site bill verify gets a free verify so no site for matt unless he's got it in his hand that could set matt back a little bit uh this game Again, we're going to have two other matches going on today. Uh, the first one is going to be Mike Kessling versus Joe Olson. That one's going to be at about 1.15 p.m. Eastern. And then uh, at 2 p.m. Uh, is going to be Timo Dussel versus Jeff Levine. 
Uh, looks like Jared is going to be covering the Joe Olson versus Mike Kessling match, and then I will be covering uh, Timo versus uh, Jeff. Matt again thinking, uh, taking his time thinking about what he wants to do here. Uh, he does have options. He could go down if he wants to establish on the ground. He could easily just go over to one of the first light sites, or or he could even go over to the Hoth third marker drain for two there but again he wants to get the flip uh, if he was able to flip he would then be able to reduce the uh, pain damage from you'll be dead down to one but we'll see what he wants to do he's still in his deploy phase he's he is eating up some time though he's got 21 cards in his uh, force pile to work with Uh, that's a good point, but I mean, with two force saved, you have to expect that Bill has some sort of defensive interrupt in his hand, whether that's an Imperial Burial or a Stunning Leader. Uh, I, I saw the game yesterday where Bill was playing the same deck. He had Stunning Leader in his deck and he had Imperial Barrier. He also has the uh, Mind Tricks Don't Work On Me effect, so that allows him to essentially have a gick in his hand. I know that people have been using that card. I, people have been switching out that third effect in uh, Shadow Collector for a while. I think a lot of people have uh, established that the Mind Tricks Don't Work On Me is probably the, go, the, the best third option. Okay, but here we go. Rose Tico coming down in front of Django and Balatik. Leia comes down as well. She goes down in front of Shizor and Maul. So Matt deciding he wants to uh, do something on the ground. He does flip. Admiral Satora comes down. I think the Masterful Move was in, uh, a good call. Yeah, he probably has a gig in his hand as well. Masterful Move also is good against uh, Quiet Mining Colony. Interesting. Ray moves over to the, uh, to the passenger. Okay, Solo comes down onto the Falcon. And Chewbacca. Chewie with Bowcaster comes down onto the Falcon as well. That's a lot of force there. A little surprised to see Chewie going onto the Falcon and not going down to the ground. Matt will ditch Finn. Putting him back into the use pile here to grab a resistance character. He grabs Finn. So he puts a Finn back to grab a Finn. Ray or Rose moves over and the Falcon will land. Falcon flips. Chewie hops out. Uh, Chewie. Um, let's see. Does he? He does have reduced costs of. Uh, so he's minus one onto the Falcon. So that's why he uh, deployed onto the Falcon. Ray hops out as well. So Solo and Calrissian are on the Falcon. Chewie's off. Yeah, all those guys have very high uh, defense value right now because of uh, Satora and because of the uh, objective. Ah, oh, welcome, Matt. Matt extends his uh, Twitch subscription. Thank you, Matt. He's at 33 months. Now, what's interesting is you saw that Bill has some space in his deck. 
So you run a little bit of risk here with just the uh, gold leader and gold one with Radis on the table. Well, I mean, yeah, the uh, uh, solo adds to the defense value. Okay, there's the you'll be dead ping. Krillian Corvette goes lost. Drain of two at the village. It's a hit. And all wings combo goes lost. So, let's see. It's uh, the objective. Uh, while with Han, your Episode 7 characters and Episode 7 starships are defense value plus 2. And then I believe Satora adds to... Yeah, at the same location, Resistance characters and Resistance starships are each defense value plus 1 and forfeit plus 1. So, yeah. And Brandon Beatty does it as well. So, thank you both to uh, subscribing. Bill uh, uses the first light bar to attempt to deploy a character. He misses, so he's checking out his destiny here. Uh, yeah, Lando adds to the uh, the Falcon, but not uh, the objective or Sola because it's not a starship at this point. It's a vehicle. Could it be a starship vehicle? <laughs> I don't, uh, can eat, uh, let's see, the, the blasters can target, uh, the, the Black Sun blaster and the uh, Crimson Dawn blaster can target the Falcon. But again, with the, I believe, again, you can cancel, oh, BB9E comes down, canceling Rose's game text. So, Bill had the answer for old allies as well. Yeah, you would have to draw really high to hit the Falcon. Uh, let's see. So Maul, so you get a plus one because of the blaster. The, uh, the Falcon is plus six. So you need a six. You need a five. Yeah, with Maul, you would need a five in the control phase, but yeah. Asajj Ventress goes down to the defensive perimeter. Uh, that would be a drain of two sight. Bill goes into his battle phase. He does flip. Yeah, you know, I think if you're Bill, I don't think you can battle here. Okay, he plays secret plans. Yeah, I was thinking like if you yeah I, I I like that because I believe Balatique. Oh, Shizor moves over to the uh, to O site. Yeah, Balatique works against Han, so yeah, you would want to move Balatique over. But Bill decides not to do that. He moves Shizor over to the two O site. Maul moves over, and now Bill just draws some some cards. And because Bill occupies three battlegrounds, he does cause another point of damage. There goes R2, brave little droid. Uh, 
I think if you're Matt, you're happy here. Now, you're causing two points of damage for free with a drain of one at Jakku and a drain of one at the uh, outpost. Bill will lose another Master Move combo from his hand. And there's the drain at the outpost. Let's see what Bill will lose. He's going to lose Chalk from his hand. Uh, I think the only person that plays Uta Gusa solo and quite a mercenary non-Vs is uh, Bastion Winklehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Matt goes into his deploy phase he's going to put Rose back into his deck to take a resistance character again he's checking out all of his deck here I uh, believe Rose would be a character he could take out but I'm assuming he's only playing two Poe Dameron would be another t character and then there's a plethora of uh, other resistance characters who are ability too but i can't think of them off the top of my head uh larma uh, i think she's ability of three oh. nope he takes rose tico Again, if you're looking for more uh, Gen PC action at 1 p.m. Eastern, Joe versus Mike Klesling. Again, that's going to be about 1.15. And then uh, at 2 p.m., uh, Timo Dussel versus Jeff Levine. Matt taking his time here, seeing about what he wants to do this turn. Again, right now, Bill is out damaging uh, Matt. He uses three to take Projection of Skywalker into his hand. Uh, I'm assuming he's going to put it on one of the two Jakku sites uh, because he can actually reduce the drain at the defensive perimeter. Oh, here we go. He plays Jin Urso in front of Shizor. There, oh, projection of Skywalker onto the defensive perimeter. Uh, I'm not sure why he did it there, because he can just reduce it. Yeah, I'm not sure why he did it there. He could reduce that down to one with the objective, and then he could have just put it onto the village, make that a minus one, and then... Yeah, that makes... I'm not sure. But... There's a reason why Matt Harrison Trainer is still in the tournament and I'm not. <laughs> okay, well, Belmont Can is a And there's the two two site. Yeah, the you'll be dead ping is only one right now, so. And combined fleet action comes down, so now uh, Matt will be able to, oh wait, no, lay is on the table, so that cancels his, his admiral's order. Uh, he does just realize that, though. Yeah, that's the only reason why I would think that you would want to put the 
Rejection over on the third marker. Now Matt's going to shut all around some of his guys, move them around a little bit. Ray moves over to the 2-2 two -two site. Ah, uh, yeah. So Matt tries to, uh, he misclicks on Solo. I'm assuming he wanted to move Solo, and uh, Bill will allow the revert. Clearly a misclick. So Solo, Rose, Ray, and Chewie move over to the 2-2 site. Radis and the Gold Leader and Gold 1 land. Interesting. Oh, excuse me. Radis haps onto the Falcon and he takes off. Again, that's going to add the 1 to the drain there up in space. Bill plays the a useless gesture shield. And he is in the start of his turn. So again, Bill is going to be able to drain for two at the, uh, the village. Uh, I am assuming that Matt has an answer for that, whether that's a, it's another copy of it's a hit or maybe a control and tunnel vision or something along those lines. There's the Obi Dead Ping. It is only it is only one right now. Bill does take Rook into his hand. There goes a Rebel leadership to the Lost Pile to the Obi Dead Ping, and the, we have the Drain of Two at the village. Let's see. Does Matt have the answer here? No, he does not. He's going to lose. I think I can handle myself. And a Menace Fades. Menace Fades, uh, yeah, it doesn't really come into play this game. I mean, you do have the Drain of plus one at the third marker, but with the projection of Skywalker over there, it doesn't really come into play. Aura Sing with Blaster Rifle comes down in front of the Starship Graveyard. Kira, the top lieutenant, comes down. I believe she has some good ticks with Solo. When forfeited at the same location as Han or Voss may satisfy all remaining battle damage against you. So, yeah, she's really good with Solo. I mean, you assume that Matt is going to target uh, Ara Singh with the Chewie. Dr. Evazen and Ponda Baba come down in front of Calrissian, Satora, and Leia. Not sure if that was a misclick or something. But Bill is clearly wanting to come down to Jakku.
Bill goes into his battle phase. He flips his objective. Again, it's going to be a ping of one here. Uh, that's Jin Urso. Uh, and yeah, that's Django with uh, Maul and Balatik. So Django, Arasing, and Kira, the top lieutenant, are facing down Ray, Rose, Solo, and Chewie. Shizor and Prince, uh, uh, Prince Shizor and Dr. Abazan against Calrissian, Leia, and Admiral Satora. Ah, oh, welcome, Masasi Temple. Thank you for your two-month subscription. We'll, uh, let Jared know so that way you can start getting some foils. And this is game one of a two-game match. Uh, Matt is the tire seed. He decided he wanted to play light side first. And Jin Urso moves over as well. So Jin backs up. Leia, Satora, and Calrissian. There's the flip. And Matt has to lose one. He's going to lose a Rose Tico from his hand. Uh, life Force counts and hand counts are actually dead even. Both players have 19 cards in their Life Force and 8 cards in hand at this point. Let's see what Matt wants to do. Again, with BB9E on the table, uh, Rose cannot retrieve, BB8 cannot ping. Again, BB9E is with a leader, so... No Rose retrieval for MHT at this point. Uh, excuse me for one second, gentlemen. And ladies, if there are any. Now, Matt is going to be able to drain for two at Jakku, as Admiral Raddus is currently piloting the Millennium Falcon, just like in the movies. Yeah, we haven't seen Poe come down yet, and uh, being that the Admiral's order is suspended, we might not see any vehicles come down, but I could be wrong. Again, uh, the Endor Grand Prix is uh, only is about a little over a month away. Uh, we currently have a few people signed up for it. Uh, right now, we're sitting at twenty five players. So make sure if you are interested. I mean, it's going to be a fun event. I know those Endor guys; they always do a really great job up there. Uh, I'm excited to go up and play some Star Wars cards. Maybe I'll win, win a game or two. <laughs> uh, we'll see. But it is going to be uh, it's going to be a pretty solid turnout. Uh, we have two former world champions showing up. Uh, some players who have won the MPC in Hayes Hunter and uh, Joe Olson as well. And then uh, a lot of people have made some top eights recently. Uh, Justin Miyashiro, he had a top eight. The NPC, Mike Kessling, he again had a top eight. Brian Fred, one of the best guys in Star Wars CCG. Uh, Cohen is coming over from Europe. That's going to be impressive. Uh, Worfs is again hosting the event. So, yeah, good, looking like a pretty good turnout. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. 
Okay, here we go. MHT's turn. He activates 12. Uh, he saves 6 force in his uh, reserve deck, though. So he would get 2 force for the Chewbacca shot. And he would get 2 Destiny with Solo and Solo. Okay, Drain of 2, Ejiku. There goes a Sith Fury and Dryden Voss for Bill. He loses the Sith Fury off the top of his deck. Dryden from uh, his hand. Yes, uh, Satura also gets a uh, Destiny. I'm sorry. Thank you, Bastion. Matt does check out his destiny. He has a he has two fives, two threes, a four and a one, with a lot of characters. Uh, we saw him uh, put Rose back a couple of turns. Yeah, both players are getting two destiny at the the graveyard, but if you lose. If he loses Ray, or sorry, if he loses Leia, the uh, Admiral's Order will get turned back on, and then Bill won't have a, an extra Destiny. Finn comes down. I'm expecting to see the uh, the Destiny Adder. I think I'm getting pretty good at this. Vice Admiral Hodo comes down as well, so Matt is uh, looking to pick a fight here. Could be Anakin. I'm thinking the one is probably like an Anakin. Uh, it might be a Ray. Okay, here we go. A fight at the Starship Graveyard. Matt will retrieve one with uh, Leia. He does pay for it. He retrieves Rose. Chewie will shoot at Django Fett. Draws a three for the first destiny. Needs to draw a three or higher here to hit Django. He draws a four. Django is hit. Forfeit reduced down to zero. Django fires back at Chewbacca. He hits the mighty Wookiee. Now, Matt can reduce it by two, and I believe that would miss Chewie. He is currently defense value four with Solo. So if he reduces it by two, yeah, that would actually, that would miss Chewie. He does not decide to. That flips Bill. Bill re will recirculate and shuffle up his deck. He also gets, uh, he sh will get, okay. He adds a battle destiny with a lawless time. Matt grabs it. There's the Destiny Adder. There is the I'm getting pretty good at this, so that's going to be an additional two Destiny. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is because Cura is with Solo, you just lose Cura, and that's all the battle damage. Ara Singh shoots at Solo. 
draws a five. That's going to be a six. Solo is hit and forfeit zero. Bill adds the destiny to power. There's the destiny to power. It is a five. Mall strikes is revealed. Matt draws a five. He's going to get, and it is reduced down to four with Maul. So we're not going to see another battle this turn as yep, there's Anakin. As all the destiny is going to be used in this battle. Yeah, I, I don't like losing all the destiny here if you're Matt. There's another five, another Rose Tico. Yeah, I don't like the, uh, I'm getting pretty good at this. And there is Hera. If you're Matt, because Kira's on the table. Okay, Bell draws A2. Another two. Ah, he's going to take Aura Sing into hand with the Sith Fury. So Bill's going to have another Aura Sing to come down with next turn. Draws a five for the Battle Destiny. Now, Matt does reduce it down to three with the objective, but Bill adds one, so it is a four. And then he draws another four, or he draws a Jabba's Twerps for six. So Matt has 12 into attrition. Bill has 14 and six in uh, battle damage. So he doesn't actually have to lose the Aura Singh here. He just, if he loses the gun... Okay, so he's going to lose Kira. I would have lost the... Okay, so he has to, He does have to lose everyone here. I'm sorry. Because of the attrition. Okay, he loses the gun. Ray goes to the lost pile. Okay, so let's see. Ray and Finn went to the lost pile. Bill will play Imbalance Call Bell. He's going to lose Rook, and then he's going to get a character back. Oh, <laughs> he loses Rook to get Rook back. Yeah, I, I forgot. Kira covers the... Uh... Yep. I'm assuming he wanted to get the Kira back. Okay, and uh, all that's left is Chewie, Solo, and Aura Singh have to go back. Yeah, it's not the worst, but you do. I mean, you do get a Destiny four card back into your deck, but again, you would want to have somebody else other than the the Rook there. So everything, after everything is left and finished, uh, Holdo and Rose survive. And they move over, joining everybody at the outpost. Uh, again, both players are sitting at uh, so uh, equal life force in hand. That is until Bill flips and causes a ping damage. MHT has 18 in life force, 6 in hand. Bill has 20 in life force, 5 in hand. Yeah.
There's the you'll be dead ping. And Matt loses a six off the top as he loses the combined fleet action. Rook comes down. I'm a little surprised to see Bill didn't activate everything because then he could just recirculate when he battles. Ara Singh comes down as well. So Rook and Ara Singh comes down. There's a the barrier. Does Bill have an answer? Nope. Ara Singh is barriered. Now again, all those resistance characters are uh, de defense value plus one. Matt plays aim high. And Bill is going to go get a card with his objective, likely a gun. There's the Crimson Dawn Blaster on Rook. Again, Rook's pretty good. Bill goes into his battle phase, and he does flip. Rook will allow him to peek at the top two cards, taking one into hand. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I forgot he activated to the gun. And we have a battle. Shizor is going to attempt to fire and shoot Satora. He draws a six. That's going to hit Satora. Dr. Evazen will make him lost. Now both players only are getting one battle destiny here. Matt's going to play uh, Rebel Leadership to actually get back that destiny. Rook's going to attempt to shoot Calrissian. Draws a two. Now he can add one with Maul to make him hit. He will do that. And MHT subtracts two to make it one. Bill does get a Destiny to Power with his objective though. It is a five. And he draws a four for Battle Destiny. Uh, the guns do shoot vehicles. Yeah. Uh, there is Captain Harris and Dula for Destiny of Three. Rose Tico for five. Now, again, Bill's going to subtract one with Maul. So... The two guns are going to go lost and probably Rook. Or a gun and Rook. Yeah. A gun and Rook are going to go lost. And uh, Matt has to lose four. He's going to lose Calrissian. Yep, Rook goes lost and that is it.
Bill ends his turn, flips back, and causes another point of damage. Anakin Skywalker goes to the uh, to Lost Pile from Matt's reserve deck. Now, Matt is currently sitting at 15 uh, on left on his timer. Bill is at 34. I don't think that's going to come into play this match, but that is something to look at. Matt activates everything but two. And he will drain for two at Jakku. Bill loses Gig from hand. And a We Must Accelerate Our Plans. I don't know what it became of, like, who... Who did what with Bill Kafer? But the dude is firing. He's firing on all cylinders right now. Like he go, he went twelve and zero last month. Uh, he's currently one and zero this month, at least from what I know. And he's playing really well right now in this game. Matt checks out his destiny. Bill gets a free verify. Let's see if he says what the destiny are. Still in mess deploy phase. And there's the blue 11 going down in front of Asaz Ventress. Uh, after Bill lost that gick, I think that Matt realizes he needs to do something a little bit more here. Poe Dameron comes down onto the blue 11. So he would get two battle destiny over there. And the blue 11 is immune to attrition less than five. I believe. Or no, immune to attrition less than four. It's uh, the once per turn may deploy a non-pilot uh, non rebel ability less than five. So Matt will retrieve one with Leia. And it looks like he's going to be able to clear that Ventress this turn. This turn. Yep, he draws a five for the first destiny. Again, Matt is going to be able to subtract two from whatever Bill draws. Bill subtracts one from that five, and there's another four, so it's going to be eight. So 15 to 4. Bill needs to draw at least a 4 here to not take any overflow. He draws a 5. And that's going to re down, reduce down to 3, but brought back up to a 4. So, yep, the vehicle is immune to attrition less than 5 because of Poe, but Bill's not going to take any overflow. But now uh, Matt is threatening a drain of two at the third marker. Gold leader and gold one flies back up to Jakku. And Matt will move his characters around. So now Matt can reduce the ping damage from the you'll be dead down to one with his objective. And, I mean, he still is going to probably take two to the drain at the village, but. Yeah, it looks like he's only going to be taking maybe three forces turn. Bill activates 13, saving three.
There is the you'll be dead ping. And it is reduced down to one. There goes Beaumont Kent off the top. Bill looks at the three cards with Lady Proxima. Let's see if he pulls an alien. He does not. There's the drain of two at the village. Does Matt have an answer for that? No, he does not. He will lose two. He's going to lose two off the top. He loses Rose and Leia, both off the top of his reserve deck. Drain of one at the first light reception area. Bill wants clearly wants to do as much damage as he can at this point. There goes a Rebel Barrier off the top. So that means that the next card underneath is a 5. It is the, I think I'm getting pretty good at this. So Hondo Anaka comes down as well as something special planned for them. Bill will flip his objective. Again, that's going to cause a point of damage with the ping. Ah, oh, it is a May. Shizor moves over. It costs two force because of the Starship Graveyard game text. Dr. Evazan follows. And Bill will draw another card. So he's not, he is going to take two to the drain over on the third marker, as well as two in space. So Bill's going to take four points of damage this turn. Good. Matt is not retrieving any. Oh, he's going to put Walkling out of play so he can retrieve that Rebel Barrier. He does have the force, so he is going to pay one to retrieve their barrier. Upping his total to 15 in his life force. Bill also has 15 in his life force. Bill is currently one card ahead in hand, though. But again, he is going to take four points of damage uh, on Matt's next turn. Matt, again, will take a point of damage with the Shadow Collective Ping. And he'll lose. I'm getting pretty good at this. So again, both players are currently doing four points of damage to each other as long as it stays consistent. I actually know Bill is doing five points of damage to Matt. And Matt is doing four points of damage. Bill will put the something special plan for them into his Lost Pile to retrieve Boba Fett and Slave 1. And there's a Dream 2 at Jakku. Jab is through with you. And four long with Concussion Rifle. Both go lost. Drain of 2 at the defensive perimeter. Another Phantom Menace goes lost. And Maul strikes. Yep, that's a good point, Matt. Yeah. Hondo can get the Fett and ship. Uh... Yeah, he's just got to save down to two force and then get fed and ship. Again, MHT saves two cards in his reserve deck. Maybe we'll see a battle. Maybe we won't. I'm not sure. I don't think you can really fight into Shizor and Dr. E. But Ray comes down. Ray coming down for four. Uh, 
Ah, MHT will uh, retrieve a device, droid, or weapon with the Starship Graveyard. He's going to retrieve the R2 and Brave Little Droid. So he gets a six back into his deck. So he retrieves and gets the droid back into his use pile, and now he does the ray search. Will he take the droid? Not sure yet. We'll find out. Um, no, it, it, uh, if you're looking at the damage race right now, Justin, uh, one for you'll be dead, two for the drain, one for the drain at the first light if Bill wants to, and then the ping damage, while MHT is doing four, so... Okay, Matt has decided on his card. Again, life force in hand is pretty even. Yeah, and with Bill not having any cards in his uh, force pile, he can't grab the leadership. Yeah, Bill has to pay for his drains. I realize that. So I don't think you drain, you pay for the drain at the first light. So you still are even on the drain race. Uh, yeah, until Boba comes down. So Matt has to be careful with that because once Boba comes down, you don't have any resistance characters up there, so you can't reduce it. And Maul is still on the table. Okay, here we go. Uh, battle at the Starship Graveyard. Rose, Leia, Holdo, and Ray. Matt will add a destiny. He also retrieves with the uh, with Leia. He get that. I'm getting pretty good at this. Bill draws a four for the weapon destiny. It's going to he shoots at Holdo. Holdo is hit. Flipping Bill. And Shizor will make him, or uh, Dr. Evazan and Ponda Bubble will make Holdo go lost. Bill activates a force and gets himself a Destiny to Power with his objective. He draws a three for the Destiny to Power. Matt draws BB-8 for Destiny. And the Rebel Barrier. So that should clear that site. Bill draws a 4. It's going to be reduced down to 2 and then brought back up to 3. Ray and Leia are both immune, but Rose is not. Ray will go to the lost pile. The gun goes to the lost pile. Shizor and Dr. Evazan go as well. And again, Bill will do a point of damage when his objective flips back. Matt will draw. And pass his turn. Bill will flip and Matt will lose. There goes a Leia's Resistance Transport. Again, if Bill is tracking, he should be able to get Boba Fett in his ship out this turn. He activates down to two. 
There's the you'll be dead ping. It is a ping of one. Wedge in red squadron one goes lost pile. Lady Proxima looks to the top two cards. Bill uses three. He will drain at the village. There goes a barrier and Rose Tico. Barrier from the top of the deck. Rose Tico from hand. Hondo Anaka will go deploy. Boba Fett in Slave 1. Again, Bill flips. Now, the only thing that would be really bad for Bill is a rebel leadership here. Bill initiates a battle up in space. No leadership. And Bill draws Gar Saxon. It cannot be reduced. Bill adds one to it. Matt draws BB-8. And that's enough to get rid of Boba Fett. Matt loses the gold leader in gold one. Bill realizing that BB-8 was on the top. And now Bill moves his characters around. He's going to block the drain of two at the graveyard. And will pass turn. Jin moves over as well. So again, Matt is going to do a point, uh, four points of damage this turn. You know what card? I'm going to ship. No, I, I, I don't know, but yeah, Bill missed track there on, uh, yeah, I don't know what was in his reserve. Because he recirculated and then shuffled, so I, I'm assuming he didn't like his destiny. So maybe it was something like low like the Gar Saxon. But I don't know. Okay, Drain of Two at Jakku. There goes a Crimson Dawn Blaster and Wounded Warrior. Drain of Two at the defensive perimeter. No escape. And Cad Bane. They both go lost. Again, Matt act, uh, activates everything, so he will just move this turn. No battles. Yeah. He needed to draw a three or higher. Or no, a, a four or higher. I'm sorry. At this point, Matt is ahead by one card. He is in his deploy phase, though. And 36 people watching this game one between Bill Kafer and Matt Harrison Trader. I'm not sure if game two is going to be right after this one. Uh, at one p at one fifteen, 
uh, Eastern today. Mike Kessling versus Joe Olson will be going on. Uh, so, yeah, Radis and Gold Leader and Gold 1 cover 8. But because the Gold Leader and Gold 1 only covers 4, if Bill would have drew a 4, he could have added 1 with Maul, drawing a 5, and then you have to lose Radis. And it's not so much getting... it. It's not so much uh, Bill doesn't drain for in space for two, and he has to pay to drain on the ground. So that's the important Matt. That's the important thing there. And Leia and Rose will move over. Yeah, you wanted you wanted to be. Bill really wanted to be able to get rid of Radis and the goal dealer in gold one. Because then if Matt wants to go back onto the Falcon, he has to lose a card, use a car from his hand, and that's essentially losing a life force there. Bill activates everything. Again, Jin Urso is doing a lot of work this game. There's the ping damage with You'll Be Dead. Drain for two at the village. Yeah, Matt had, uh, he loses Harris and Dola and a rebel leadership, both from his hand. Harris to the ping and rebel leadership to the first drain, as well as a rebel barrier. Drains for one at the reception area. Matt will lose R2, brave little droid. I think Bill needs to split up his characters here a little bit more. Uh, if he moves the Balatique over to the Starship Graveyard and then moves the other two in front of Leia and Rose, you expect, then you, uh, I don't think Matt will want to... If he had Harris, she only comes down for four, I believe. So you could throw down Hera to reestablish on ground. Okay, Matt, uh, Bill will go into his battle phase. He recirculates. Yeah, both players are really low on life force. Uh, right now, Bill is going to be losing five points of damage unless he moves over. Bill is thinking about what he wants to do here. He's going to draw, so he's going to uh, he's going to be losing five points of damage. Bill drawing some cards. And will flip his objective and cause another point of damage. Uh, I think the biggest problem right now is Bill has to pay for his drains. Okay, he does cause a point of damage. Matt will have to lose one here. Uh, yeah, whoever wins this is going to win by... A very small amount so it is going to come down to game two now let's see Matt is doing five points of damage it's going to bring Bill down to seven and then Bill is going to be able to drain uh, for three next turn that's going to bring Matt down oh he loses it's a hit from his hand that would have canceled a drain Yeah, Matt has only three minutes left, uh, three and a half minutes left though on his timer. That's a uh, kind of important. Oop. 
I'm sorry about that. Oh, yep. Balatique stops that. No cancel. Yeah, I forgot Balatique said, uh, gets around that. And there's the drain of two at Jakku, and the drain of two at the site. Bill will lose Blaster from his hand, Hondo Anaka from his hand as well. He also will then lose to the drain of two at the defensive perimeter. He loses uh, Gar Saxon and the Crimson Dawn Blaster from his hand. So he's got Bill currently has six force in life and one in his hand. Matt, six in his ha uh, life and two in his hand. So that's the real, it, it, like I said, it's going to be a very close game. Bill will be able to drain for both next turn. And Matt will draw a few cards. Bill will put back uh, We Must Accelerate Our Plan into his deck. Matt, four cards in hand, four in life force. Bill, seven total. There's the you'll be dead ping. Matt likely to lose everything from his hand this turn. So he's going to have three force left after this. Drain of two at the site, the village. There goes Finn and BB-8. Drain of one at the reception area. He also lost Anakin to the ping damage. Rose Tico from the force pile. Matt has one card left in his hand. Wondering what that card is. He's got three cards left in his force pile. Bell flips. Recirculates. Now, if Bill, Bill thinking about what he wants to do here, uh, I think if you're Bill, you've got to move somebody over in front of Rose and Leia to stop that drain at least. But then you risk the, you're going to give Matt a retrieval. So Bill would lose four. I mean, if Bill blocks that drain at the outpost, Matt would get one to retrieve. It, Matt could theoretically retrieve one there, but you allow Bill to get one more drain in. Yep, he moves Arsing over. He will block the drain at the outpost. So Matt did, or Bill did some quick math there. Matt, down to a minute and 22 seconds left. There's the flip, and Matt does have to lose one. He'll lose Rebel Leadership from his hand. 
Drain of two and Chiku. Bill loses Jawa's twer twerps, and we must accelerate our plans. There's the drain of two and the third marker, bringing Bill down to three. Both players have three force left in their life force. Matt breaks Jin's cover. Interesting. Matt will initiate a battle. He will retrieve one. He's got nothing left in his reserve deck, though, so he's not going to get any destiny. So, interesting. Bill will attempt to shoot Rose Tico. Draws a four. That will hit Rose. And flip Bill back. Ooh, this is big because now Bill's going to cause a point of damage this turn. I think Bill's going to win. Bill draws a four. It's going to be reduced down to two. Now, what's interesting, again, what's interesting is Matt is eating up clock. I, I mean, I think Bill wins by three. Regardless, but yeah, Matt is down to 30 seconds. There goes Rose and a Rebel leadership and Dash. Matt goes into his draw phase. Bill will uh yeah, Bill's going to win this game. Bill wins by 3. So Bill Kafer will take game 1 by 3 force. So, again, Bill will take game one. Uh, he wins by three. Lost, count, uh, lost pile counts are 38 for Bill and 41 for Matt. So let's see when the player what the players will be doing here. A little bit of banter between our two players. Uh, let's see when both of them will be uh, playing game two. I believe they are going to be playing game two uh, right today. Still a little bit of bad enter between our players, so. Again, uh, Joe Olson versus Mike Kessling will be going on in about 20 minutes, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that one. So, everything's going to come down to game two. Uh, again, uh, Mike Kessling versus Joe Olson is going to be on Jared Napolitano's channel. So, make sure you guys tune into that.
And uh, yeah, right now, before the players start uh, going on to game two, uh, the token card for today is going to be BB BB nine E. So if you're in the sticker, if you want to do the sticker stuff. Uh, send a message over to holotheater at starwarsccg.org with uh, GIMP match. Uh, just put in the GIMP top eight. Okay, so they're going to be taking a dinner break. So once they're back, we'll have game two. And uh, yeah, so the token game, the token for today's game is uh, BB nine E. Uh, and it looks like they're just going to pick it up uh, on a uh, after dinner. It's because uh, Matt Harrison Trainer is currently in France. Uh, looks like an hour and fifteen minutes from now. Is going to be game two. And, uh, yep, Joe Olsen will be playing Mike Kessling in about 15 minutes. And again, that is going to be on Jared Napolitano's channel. Uh, I will have game two of uh, Bill. Uh, I'm also going to attempt to try and get Timo and uh, Jeff on as well. So I will see everybody in at least an hour. Until then, thanks for tuning in. And again, t today's token card is uh, BB9E. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll see everybody in, enough, in a little bit.